any other TV networks are watching, I will be. I will do anything uh, to be hired. Weather, I'll do it all. Weather, do weather if you want. I'll do it. I'll do anything to be hired. I do any. Honestly, anything. Cloudy in the west, sunny in the east. All that. I'm. I'm ready. I am big time. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of The Soulful Story. It's me, Dr. Benji. Hello, welcome back. If you're enjoying the series so far, drop a like on it and let's get into it then. Now, since we last met, the last episode wasn't good, was it? You, you know that. I know that. We all know that it wasn't good. Uh, two defeats in a row. Hanover and Newcastle. We didn't even score a goal. That's how bad it was. And in the next game against Chelsea, we got a spirited 0-0 draw, which I think is not too bad. But then you realise that Chelsea, equally not having a good season. Ignore the stats. Look, it was even. It was an even game for us. As far as, I'm, as far as the scoreline is concerned. The big news from the game being, though, that Alberto Seri is out for four to five months with a broken foot. Of course he is. The man that scored all the goals for us last year on a cut price deal for Juventus is now injured for five months, so we won't see him again until sort of late season, end of March, early April, maybe. Not good news. We then follow that up with a 4 1 win against Rijeka. I think that's how you'd say it. If that's wrong, I'm sorry. I, I don't know another way to say it. Uh, Everton and Arsenal with the other games uh, a draw and a defeat to Arsenal, which just didn't end well. So, because of Serie's injury and, and because of my want to play two up front, I've had to change things, and the two up front is no lump no more. The four at the back is back, and uh, the wide men still there. Let's have a look. So, for those of you that watched my stream in 2014, which will be, I admit, a small number of you, uh, you will recognise this formation. I did a save with Real Oviedo, in which I perfected this formation on FM14. It's a formation I didn't get to work very well last year on FM15, and I've not really tried it this year on FM16. So, what we're going to try and do is bring back this formation, and it, it needs different components for it to work. It needs a, a strong Trequatista, which is arguably the only position of the positions we need that we don't quite have yet. Um, and if we get that, it may really ex uh, it may really excel. But let's look at Kokan Hayek, who I think can actually play the role. If we take a look at the Trek Cortista position and the the attributes he has in that area, there's nothing below a 12 there. Um, so I, I think that stands as in quite good stead. He's got good vision, passing technique, first touch of finishing, all what you need him to be, very good agility, decision making is very good, flair off the ball. He could be the guy to really make this tick. And uh, I've not actually tried him in the Trek Cortista role yet. We tried it a little bit with the playmaker. Um, we had to put that... To bed though, because Peter Phillips got an injury. He'll be back in a couple of days, but he also was out for a little while. So this is what we play then. You play a wide man, sort of a little bit deeper, a little bit more reserved, and he works with his full back. You have a flying wing back and a, a pushed forward uh, winger as well with Barry and Luke Shaw. We'll get that. Jao Paulo and Frank Hauser, two cent uh, central centre-backs that, that are strong in the middle. A ball winning midfielder with Vidal, who sits just in front, protection. Gets the ball, gives it to Tielemans, who does all the work in that deep blame playmaker role. And as I say, Sandoval up front as he advanced forward. We could change that and bring Igor on um, to play as a target man, because he's also, despite being a target man, he's also very agile, can get around a lot, uh, very pacey. So we've got options there. We're going to try Sandoval today, though, in our first game, coming up against uh, Rijeka, who play uh, in the Europa League with us in Group F. Let's do it. There we are. Excl explanation. Can't even say that bit explanation hopefully you enjoyed it let's see if it works tried it in a few games and it went okay we're actually going to put it into standard instruction wise uh, you want to exploit both flanks look for the overlap actually no maybe only one no no we'll look for the overlap for now uh, mix passing sometimes close down in fact we might put that up as well I'm just thinking a high pressing game especially with that, that front three might work better for us we'll try it we'll see We'll see what happens we're experimenting we've got a little bit of room to manoeuvre this season we may as well experiment it's a very much a sort of let's see what we can achieve season rather than a let's go and win the Premier League well, let's win the Europa League it's a bit of a it's a strange year it's, it's the weirdest year I've had so far uh, certainly in the Premier League so keep your eyes on the players where they go how they position themselves it's very important that the front the, sort of the middle three connect and then they can explode like if Tiedemans can get forward that's perfect and Peter on the right side again will be a little bit more reserved Barry will be pushed on be the, the key focus of attack with Sandoval uh, and hopefully Kokang uh, Hayuk can do a job as well right first action of the game Peter ball in Funkhauser looked like it could have been a penalty not to be though obviously we beat them in the first game you didn't see that we beat them 4-1 uh, it was quite an easy game they scored a consolation goal Igor actually got all four in that game now I've dropped him for this one because I, I really want to get the best out of Sandoval he's been injured a lot recently so uh, the more we can play him the better it will be as uh, it comes out to Kokang Hayuk can he, can he switch it? Why well, place it into Vidal? Doesn't, I, thought he was, do I don't know why he didn't shoot then. Bizarre. The fact, the fact he played that out and didn't have the shot is, uh, is worrying. And George Navarro has picked up probably a booking from that. We'll have a little look. Okay, yellow card. And uh, after 25 minutes, even a fair, can we try and make a breakthrough? 
We're going to start in standard today because we know that if it goes wrong or goes well, we can change it. I think control works quite well with this formation. I'm trying to go off my memory from 2014 and what I did with that. I think control was something I used quite a lot. Uh, counter attack was really useful as well. And I, I don't know, attacking and defensive are two things I stayed away from. Whether they work this time round, I think we'll have to wait and see. I think if, we, if it stays nil nil, especially by half time, we'll switch it up to control. If we're losing, we'll switch it up to counter inside the mind of this this hair i mean blimey the man's probably thinking why hasn't he been cut yet there's peter on this right hand side ball to the back post barry's there and that's what you're talking about the deeper winger peter flinging it all the way across and barry at the back post playing in that slightly more advanced position with the goal and away goal too and it look at the group there it almost seals i think it does seal if we win today it will almost seal as long as hanover win our uh, qualification out of the europa league after four games which would be fantastic peter with a whipped ball in and barry on the volley back post makes it one nil so far so good okay forward again barry pushed up on this left side can you get a ball across oh he all the way back to peter hits the post hits the keeper and he keeps it out but the wingers working really well nice nice to see right half time things going okay as mentioned we're in the lead so we're going to switch it up to control and uh see what goes on okay peter right side can he put the ball in does do sandoval front post shot and goal cleared though and can we recycle the possession see drops a little bit deep you see look sure it's really pushed on to the point where he nearly went and sat with the physio so he went a little bit too far if anything i don't know why he ran so far can we just look at that again and watch how luke how far luke Shaw runs and just continues to run it's weird it doesn't get the ball back anyway carrying on it's like someone shouted go on luke push on mate he's gone oh, i'm off i'm off what about the ball forget about the ball okay corner kick teenyman's 10 minutes to go fat cows oh it's a great header a bullet header and it puts us two up and that is the goal that will probably seal our qualification from the europa league it doesn't it feels underwhelming it's under an, an under uh, it's an underwhelming qualification i should say a uh, good job as well we don't have to play hanover to seal the deal fat cows with a great header and uh, let's make a change or a few let's bring Igor on for sandoval jeff thomas can come out on this right side you can see that actually a lot of these players really suit what we're doing with this formation that we've got a lot of options we're like you kind of have with the midfield you have three defined roles you have that sit, uh, sit, uh, deeping defensive midfielder you have the uh, the playmaker in the middle you have a trick quatista or a shadow striker in behind the striker and we've got options for that peter phillips can play a couple of those um td can obviously play a couple of those Vidal can play a couple of those so it's nice versatile versatility say versatility and hope everyone understands okay uh, next game it's a premier league game and i have got no idea who it's against let's find out together I totally forgot. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's Leicester. Oh, we love a, we love a match against Leicester. I feel like we've played a lot of matches against Leicester recently. Said he considering leaving on a free transfer. I mean, you're not playing, mate. Because... Uh, no. I only get two options to talk to him. Neither of them are good. I'm more than happy to let you leave rotting in the reserves until the end of the season. You're hardly irreplaceable and I won't be held to ransom. When you put it like that, you leave me little choice but to cash in you while I have the chance. I don't want to do either of those. I, I don't want to talk to him. I want to offer him a new contract. I don't know why he's getting upset. He's injured. I mean, you're injured. Oh, God. I've got I've got to talk to him. That's a relief. Thanks, bots. That's all I need to hear. I mean, I want you to play, mate, but the injury is... Oh, never mind. Now, I recently asked for an affiliate club uh, to help with... I don't I asked to help with work permits. I mean, the teams we've been given, not, not great. Okay, so we've got Bromby uh, from Denmark, Glentoran from Northern Ireland, Linfield from Northern Ireland, or Viking from Norway. Uh, now, if we take a quick look at the facilities, we want the ones with the best youth facilities, really. So far, I'm underwhelmed. Impressive training facilities, good youth facilities. I mean, do we reject the recommendations? Let's see if Bromby have got anybody good. Oscar Holt seems to be the, the young up and comer. He doesn't look amazing. He looks okay, but not like nothing special. I might reject the recommendations. I'm rejecting the recommendations. I don't think they're good enough. I don't like any of the choices given. They did say to me, do you want to go and pick someone? I didn't want the responsibility of picking someone. Wish I'd taken the responsibility now. Okay, welcome back. Game two of the episode. Uh, two changes have been made. We're going to bring Peter Phillips. Oh, three changes, sorry. Peter Phillips is going to come in to play as the Trequatista in behind Igor, who also comes in. And then we're going to play Ross and Friends on that left-hand side. He never knew we would be this way. Oh, no, never mind. I can't. I'll stop it, Ben. Stop it. Everyone else remains the same. Uh, I'm hoping that we can continue our good form through the Europa League into this game against Leicester. And uh, yeah, so far the season not going too well for us you can see here 16th place not ideal uh leicester up in ninth so we need to catch them it's quite tight though so i'm not too worried about it yet a bit of a risk playing peter phillips today come back from injury and i'm hoping he will slot into this system uh that's a great start from us there play the ball straight out of play okay yet to see too much from luke shaw uh in this system we didn't see anything from him in the game before will we see something from him today as the ball's launched forward my word Frank Kauter gets there first Ross and Friends beaten to it now Diaz turns on the spin it's a good, it's a good tackle Romero though can we we've got to get oh, we've got to get stuck in there boys we've got to get the ball back we're not getting it. Luke Shaw I mean I said we hadn't seen much of him this is not what I bloody meant I've thrown a bottle I've bottled it well uh, why don't pick up the bottle just want to apologise for my actions earlier I didn't mean it 
So it's a penalty to Leicester after seven minutes, which does throw out the game plan somewhat as it's fired down the middle. Leicester one, Salford nil. God damn it. We're switching to control. Um, if we can keep the ball, I think it gives us a far better chance. I don't want to be doing counter-attacks, really. I want, us to, I want us to control the play and work openings. And so far, well, it's a corner kick. Ball played in. Vidal up at the back post. Cleared, though. I mean, if he's going to clear that, he's got no one to give it to. So we are going to get this back. Van Kouser only has one option, really, and does find Daniel Phillips. I don't know why he's gone there for it. Well, it's a great ball to his mate, Peter Phillips. Peter on it again. Peter Phillips. Oh, he's hit the... I mean, sort the engine out. That should not be happening. I hate the crossbars this year. I cannot stand them. Tielemans then, unless it hit the post, in which case I forgive you all. Oh, Peter Phillips, back in the side and back in the goals. Uh, makes it 1-1 against Leicester City and we're back in this. Lovely stuff. Good goal as well. I was getting very angry and now I have to sort of calm myself and appreciate the goal. Tielemans slides it into him. Is that, what, what did Tielemans do? What on earth was that? Sorry, we're not, we're not brushing over that. What has he just done there? So, Vidal here gives it to Tielemans. He does some sort of weird flicky shit. Like, what is... I mean, what's the point? Yeah, that is needless. Absolutely needless. But lovely goal all the same. What is Tillemans doing? <laughs> what's the point? It's like, I don't want to play. I don't want to do football. Ballet is my sort of thing. Oh, flicks it. What is that? It was very well done. It was just utterly needless. It's like when Cristiano Ronaldo first came to the Premier League and one of his big things to do was just loads of step overs. It was like, well, you're, not, you're not going anywhere, Cristiano. Tillemans has gone, I'm going to do back heels. When? Oh, whenever I bloody like. Fancy. He's a fancy man, is uh, Yuri Tillemans. Who knew? Okay, 1-1 one, one, as we edge towards half time and uh, I don't know do we need to make changes at this point it's tricky I think we'll keep things as they are for now I'm pleased with how things are going keep it up I mean I am pleased recent form's not been good this is okay the obvious change is to bring Sandoval on or maybe even Kendall Peters for Igor who's not having the biggest impact on the game in fact we might make the change now I'm going to bring Kendall Peters on he's rapid he'll run in behind he'll work all day for me Kendall Peters this is your moment Romero's through for Leicester I mean this could be his moment please don't do this and it's cleared this is the highlight after the, after the uh, the kickoff. Please don't do this now. Luke Shaw heads away, and it's not over. Diaz takes on his man. Diaz. Oh, for God's sake! It's the it's bottle, bottle, bottle. But it's the highlight after the half time. You're not supposed to score then. <sighs> never mind. Never mind. Diaz turns, shoots, scores. Bloody excellent news. Okay, it's the highlight after their goal. Now this is a highlight I get. I can get behind and believe. So let's see if we can. Instant reply, uh, Phillips, into Vidal. Not a great deal of runners. May heads it back, but Vidal will get back onto it. The winning that second ball is pivotal, as Peter Phillips, shot on goal perhaps? I mean, what the was that? Fankhauser into Phillips, who work it again. Peter, right side, still the highlight after their goal, remember? Peter Phillips takes on his man, into the box. Kendall Peters, come on, Kendall Peters! Philip, Peter Phillips to Kendall Peters. There's Peters all over the place, and it's 2-2. Back in the game. I mean, what a mad start to this half. Two goals in less than two minutes. Unbelievable scenes. Peter Phillips, Kendall Peters. It, it, the keeper should probably do a little bit better, but we'll take it all the same. What a substitution. I mean, it did look like a terrible substitution, because they scored, but now, genius. And Peter Phillips, back from injury, having a stormer. Which probably means I'll take him off in a moment. Leicester, coming forward again. I mean, can we stop the goals, please? How has he got that? How has he got a shot off there? Oh, I'll tell you what, this season is testing me. Okay, 20 minutes left to go. Two things we're going to change. We're going to make Vidal slightly more defensive, and we're going to try and push on both wing-backs at this point. Uh, support and wing-back support. And then we're going to bring Barry on for Ross and Friends because he's done absolutely nothing. And then one final change. Uh, Kokan Hayuk is going to come for Peter Phillips because uh, Phillips obviously back from injury. Don't want to risk him too much. Don't want to get him injured again. But do we go attacking? It's, it's rare for me to do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Come on, 10 minutes to go. A winner. Find me a winner. Somebody find me a winner. I mean, get me a winner. Oh, the time's, the time's disappeared. Okay, this has got to be it now. 15 seconds for glory. Can we find the all-important... I've lost the bottle. I'll throw the bottle, but I haven't got the bottle anymore. It's 2-2. Two, two. Le Le Leicester 2, Salford 2. I've done it in reverse order. And I mean, a point is not too bad, considering how piss poor we've been recently. Obviously, you had the Europa League triumph earlier on, and now... A def oh, no, it feels like a defeat. Honestly, it feels like a defeat. A draw with Leicester. Leaves us in 14th. 12 points. I mean, we can still get up to the 6th, 7th spot with a good run. But that run doesn't look like it's forthcoming. Uh, next episode, we will bring you the games uh, towards, the, again, the, the beginning of the month. We'll look at maybe Burnley and Manchester United or maybe our final group game. Now, I think we'll do Burnley United. I think the group's almost... I think we are definitely three, right? Let's just check that. Yes, Hanover and Salford, both three. So we'll ignore the Europa League for now. Obviously, we'll bring you the draw, uh, which will probably be part of the next episode. So Manchester United... United and Burnley next time round. I'll see you then. With love, with care, from Spencer. Until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.
If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And thank you to all the people yesterday that followed me on Twitter. It was nice to see from you. We're one step closer to a million followers and then world domination. I mean, that's how it works. A million, million followers on Twitter, world domination. Then I'll probably just run for president or something because that's apparently how it works.